Well, we're on week number 79 of our two-year Bible reading program, and that means we just finished reading Isaiah chapter 63 to through Jeremiah 3 and Matthew 11 through Matthew 17. And we're looking at the greatest, even doubt, even the greatest doubt. And our passage that our spotlight comes out of is Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 through 4. The scriptures say, Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said unto him, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. Now we see that John, one of the greatest men that walked on this earth, and he was the man that was chosen by God to prepare the way of the Lord, to make his path straight. And Jesus Christ was then to follow, and John had done the work preparing for Jesus Christ. And he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. John the Baptist played a key role in preparing the way for Jesus Christ, yet in a time of um, probably one of the darkest times in John's life, he was in prison, and he sends his disciples because he's in doubt, and he says, Are you really the Lamb of God, or do we need to seek for another? And oftentimes in our deepest and darkest moments, we could even doubt God as well. Even the greatest man on earth like John the Baptist doubted, surely we can as well. And what is Jesus' response to the believer who has doubts? Well, he says there, show John again. John needed shown and reminded something again. Not something that he didn't know, but things that he already knew. And that was the truth. He needed to be shown again what was being seen and what was being heard. And so whenever you and I come to a place in our lives when we're doubting, we need to, just like John, be reminded of the truth of God's word. As we stay faithful to the reading of God's word, we'll be in Jeremiah chapter 4 through 10 and Matthew chapter 18 through 24. And as we do so, let us remember to be strengthened by the word of God.